Today we are gonna answer the question that many of us ask while looking for a new title to play. We will look at the settlers new allies skeptically as any other newcomer would and even though official numbers are not public we are going to make an educated guess on how many active players are there within the game and whether it's enough for you to be able to enjoy the game as well. Oh and at the end we are going to learn whether the community is on a decline or what the hell is going on with it. This is the Honest Settler, let's get into it. With the one year anniversary behind us, we've established in a previous video that the game has gone through a development nightmare. But it now finds itself in a weird stable place, which is, in an opinion of many, finally worth the price Ubisoft asks for the game. That being said, there are somewhat regular sales and you can get the title for only 20 euros or about the same in dollars if you're willing to wait for it. Without diving deep into any numbers yet, let's look at how long does it actually take for you to find a multiplayer match, which is the core experience at which the game now excels. From the perspective of a member of the community, it's honestly hard to be objective, because on the game's community discord there are always matches and teammates being looked for. But as a newcomer, without the knowledge of it, your experience might vary based on several factors. At the peak European time, your LFM or looking for match time could be less than 3 minutes, depending on what type of match you're looking for. But if you're an American looking to grab a quick match in the morning, you might find yourself in a bit of struggle while facing wait times of 10 plus minutes. But if you'll be willing to join the community, you will always have people to play with, sometimes even more than necessary. The suggested numbers of a game's player base are often not very objective, because you need a completely different amount of players to put together some parallel matches of 50 versus 50 first person shooters, uh, but in this case you will always need 8 and less players to put together a match. We've done the math and uh, from looking over the collective community goals, we've established that the approximate number of active players in the last 10 days was actually 4000. This number is based on how many warehouses were built in multiplayer matches in these last 10 days and then divided by the average number of warehouses the members of the community built. However, this number does not count with people who did not build any at all or with people who are not playing multiplayer matches, meaning that the actual number might be even higher. To put this into some perspective, even though the game faced criticisms on its release, today we can estimate that the player base is at least half of the player base of games like Age of Empires 4 on Steam, which I know is not all of the players, but I would still consider it a fair amount of players to enjoy the game with. What's more important though is that the players who like the game stick with it, as the community keeps on proving every single day. So is the player base steady, rising or on a decline? Well from many observations we are confident to say that it's slowly rising. Not many strategy games can be played on a huge global server with crossplay on all the major platforms. Hope you liked this analytic style of video. If you find this game interesting, we can't recommend enough for you to join the Discord. There is a huge tournament happening right now, gloriously called The League. You can enjoy watching and learning from it live with us on the Discord server or wait for it to be featured here on the Honest Settler YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.